Hello everybody, this is Fernando for the latest Cryptids and Monsters video. I thought I would do a little bit of a mix-up in this case, another mixtape for the Cryptids and Monsters series, only because some of the suggestions this go around, they sounded really good. Two of them stood out that I wish I could, let's say, put them in a separate video each, but there's not much info to talk about. So I thought I would add another mixtape here for your viewing pleasure. And these two have to do also with cryptids that may and most likely be just natural animals or natural occurrences and you'll and, you, and I'll explain the reasons here in a minute so the first cryptid that I'm going to talk about has to do with the notion of the phantom kangaroo and then the second cryptid that I'll talk about in this mixtape is the one known as the lack wood screecher so both very fascinating animals not much info related to them but hopefully you'll like uh, at least a little bits of info that I found on them so the phantom kangaroo what is it well basically and as I mentioned earlier in the video in terms of it being like a real um, animal it is in, in all intents and purposes it's a real kangaroo that just happens to be in very unusual places the only time it falls into the category of a cryptid has to do with the fact that some of the reported sightings of this phantom kangaroo include a kangaroo that is much larger than your average kangaroo now as far as the out of place locations that this, these kangaroos are found the reason why they stand out is because they truly were encountered in places you would never expect a kangaroo to be in that's why it's called a phantom kangaroo it could be something involving a kangaroo that somehow is able to be I guess in strange places out of the blue teleportation I don't know but it is there and when that happens this kangaroo leaves its tracks or is seen in far away places and then just disappears could it be something even as crazy as it sounds like let's say paranormal who knows but these are some of the reported sightings having to do with a kangaroo uh, during 1899 apparently there was a strong tornado there in Richmond Wisconsin and there was a lady there that was experiencing a tornado but much to her shock she actually saw something even stranger she saw a kangaroo coming bounding and leaping across her backyard so two uh, amazing sightings all in once because this is Wisconsin we're talking about there's no kangaroo there should be no kangaroo populations and yet there one was scurrying about her, her backyard uh, probably trying to get away from the tornado but in this case she saw it and then she reported it later on skip a couple of years later 1934 there was a giant kangaroo in this case a kangaroo much larger than the ones that uh, like you and I would normally think of it was found in Hamburg Tennessee so again another location where there should never be a kangaroo around but there it was and according to some eyewitness accounts it's they saw it kill and eat some police dogs there in Hamburg Tennessee so strange thing because again uh, kangaroos are not uh, don't really known I guess to eat dogs but in this case there it was in Tennessee of all places and it ate those dogs another instance in this case 1958 this happened in Grand Island Nebraska again another place you would never expect a kangaroo to be in there was a guy by the name of Charles Wetzel he saw a kangaroo in his area and not only that but he happened to be in his cabin home his dogs were there and the kangaroo was actually chasing his dogs if you've ever seen a kangaroo uh, I guess the closest thing you call is run but if you see it if you ever seen that on the videos like nature videos they run pretty fast so know that it was giving the dogs a good run for their money another incident occurred also involving police related stuff in this case two policemen a guy by the name of Leonard Siagi and another one by the name of Michael Bryan they saw a kangaroo in all places and an alley like your average city alley the type of alley that you and I probably see in those Neuer type films uh, 
your average New York setting, that kind of stuff. There it was in the middle of the alley. They approached the kangaroo, and when they did so, the kangaroo started to attack them. Now, the story said that they actually tried to handcuff the kangaroo, which I don't know about that part, but at least with regards to the kangaroo, they definitely saw it there. So those are just some instances with regards to strange notions of the kangaroo uh, as far as this phantom kangaroo. Is it real? Uh, most likely it is because uh, obviously the quickest thing that some people can think of is they're escaped zoo animals like zoos, especially traveling zoos. They go about uh, like the circuses, they go about various places they could escape in some places and when they do so they're trapped there in an unknown world of sorts so could that happen yes that could or they could actually be pets as well so anything involving someone owning a kangaroo which I don't know if that's exactly legal here in the US or not someone would have to clue me in on that probably not uh, especially considering it's uh, it's an exotic animal but somebody probably had them and then they escaped and when that happens especially if there was let's say male and female then they were able to create a family of sorts out there in places they normally would uh, would not be another thing involving the kangaroo is it could be an ex uh, a previous species that is thought to be extinct but is now still there like much of the other cryptids that are long lost or in this case have lived for a long long time people think that they're extinct but they're not in this case it's a short-faced kangaroo that's called the Procoptodon so it could be a kangaroo a long species of kangaroo that has been able to survive all these years so that is the first cryptid. The second cryptid we're going to talk about, there's even less information related to it. It's called the Lackwood Creature or Screecher, and it's found up north. You have to go to Quebec, Canada in order to encounter it. The thing with this screecher is there's no known sightings, no known drawings, visualizations of the creature, let alone anything involving actual video. Instead, the reason why it's called the Lackwood Screecher is that the only known existence of it happens to be its really frightening screech that it has. Um, that's uh, It's one of those screeches that apparently if you hear it out there in the woods, you will absolutely be terrified and mortified at hearing this. The way it's described is it's an almost metallic screech. It is so frightening that people have described it as being absolutely bone chilling. Not just that, but with regards to the screech, whenever it reaches people, it has an inadvertent effect where it creates a, a like painful, I guess, almost like a migraine or a throbbing sensation in someone's head and to the extreme effect, I guess if you're close enough to this creature, then it has the ability to make nosebleeds, nausea, and in some cases people even vomit. You're looking at what's called an echolocation frequency. I guess somebody was able to actually track this cre uh, creature and capture it, at least to create like a visual representation of its screech. And that's what you see there. Here's another picture of it, uh, which showcases the, I guess, frequency wavelengths associated with this creature, whatever it is, uh, the way it, it works. Uh, so that way, whenever it does its infamous screech, then you'll see the pattern of how that screech moves forward. Uh, but the other interesting physical characteristic of this creature and you'll know with that you'll be within its proximity is if you come across any strange I guess white looking stuff that almost looks like dandruff it is apparently from the creature itself um, it's the dandruff of this monster and the way it works is it's highly poisonous I guess because if you ever come in contact with it again this is in Lackwood Quebec Canada so if you ever see this strange looking hair or in some cases I guess piles of this strange looking dandruff uh, it's revised not to touch it because if you come in contact with it um, and it gets into your skin it'll cause extreme irritation blistering in some cases even peeling 
and in the most extreme cases uh, the, the skin peels so much that it'll cause bleeding and then permanent scarring so it has a very very nasty side effect uh, most likely it's another form of its attack uh, much like some of the spiders that are known to have this irritating fine hair of sorts that they scratch off and whenever a predator is nearby that fine hair lands on the predator and immediately starts causing um, strong irritation same concept but here it's with this creature itself so so what do you guys think two in one mixtape in this case one the phantom kangaroo the other one the lack wood screecher uh, the reason I was mentioning um, earlier that this could be just something else altogether different uh, something real happens to be the fact that there's some people that are surmising that the Lackwood Screecher that metallic sound could actually be a metallic sound it could be a mining drill of some sort lots of mining that goes up there in Canada and the way I guess the sound reverberates in nature if you have something like a I don't know a coal field or like a like a gold field or a gold mine and they're using those large powerful machines and then they're doing the I guess metallic screeching with the parts the way that sound carries over over the field itself because there's no barriers there's no buildings it just carries over and over for miles and miles by the time it reaches someone it sounds different uh, from what the original sound source is so some people believe that the Lackwood Screecher is none other than your average mining company or your average mining field uh, going about its business but the, the sound is misinterpreted as something else so and then again same thing with the phantom kangaroo it could just be that it's a kangaroo a real life kangaroo of sorts it just happens to be lost or happens to be found in unusual places based on its bizarre circumstances of how it got there so all right everybody thanks again as always take care